It's like, for example, if you were to say, hey, man, how's my hair look? What do you think I would say? I don't know. How does my hair look? It looks good. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, really? I like yourself. <laughs> you made that sound like you were setting it up so yeah. you could be a <laughs> no, fucking asshole. Pretty good. Yeah, I actually, I need to get a hair transplant or something. I, I don't think you do. No, I, yeah, that's, see, now you're doing it. No, no. no. like genuine, I, genuinely, I, I feel think like do. it's a, you think he does or doesn't? No, I think he needs to shave his head and not get a transplant. Oh. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That's I've talked lot. about this at length, bro. I feel like, oh, I don't know. I just, I really don't want you to get one, man. I want you to shave your head so bad. I'll have to are, if I get are one. Are hair yeah. transplants that bad looking? There's, I have, first of all, I've never seen a good one on a man. I've never seen a good one on a man, personally. There's someone we know who has how one do you, that how, I don't know if you know that they how have do you, one. Yeah, how, the ones that you, it's- Wait, can I whisper it to you? What? What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 50 of a Steak and Eggs podcast, kind of a big milestone, I guess. Guys, today we have on <laughs> Asmogold's dad. <laughs> again? Yeah, again? Wow. Again, that's crazy. Um, be real. I tried figuring out who made that thumbnail. I have no idea. So guys, hey, hey. Yeah, why don't you just blame it on me? That's what's been happening a lot recently. So yeah, just blame it you on me. You should have just it's brought totally your dad fine. in the first place. It's all your fault. Yeah, I did this. So yeah. I'm going to need some quotes from you. Because okay. I see all these people, and I had your back on Twitter the other day, Asmund. I put out a pro Asmund tweet, and you know what? It's very brave. I know. Actually, there was no negative comments in all my replies. Yeah? Yeah, so you're safe in my books. Um, so what is all this racist-ass shit that you've been saying? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> Don't look. forget homophobic, oh, yeah. misogynistic, <laughs> Where do transphobic, yeah. uh -huh. fatphobic. Uh, hate fat people, hate gay people, hate black people, hate actually all people <laughs> besides white people, hate women, hate disabled people, yeah. hate people that have mental disorders. Oh, he's adding on to it. Hate people that have Wait, no, mental, transsexual. Yep. Oh, if they're gay, that's another one. Yeah, that's a no-go. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I've got one more finger. Poor people. Poor people. I hate poor I just, people. There it is. What, what was it? What was it? It was, you were trying to opt into a, oh no, you got sponsored by a game, no? I did. I got sponsored by Dragon's Dogma to have an official pawn. And then everybody said, it's like a little character that's going to come and like, you know, follow you around and help you do stuff. Yeah. And so then everybody was like commenting, they're, they're going to take my pawn and throw him in the fucking water where it like oh. eats him alive. Who, who is everybody? You mean tw well, Twitter people? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's oh. a lot of people. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of people saying that. And uh, honestly, that's Actually, a lot an absurd of absurd amount. Like, oh, it's crazy. Absurd. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I <laughs> honestly, like, uh, I'm really like. There's been a lot of people talking about me, and it's been great. Yeah, I'm pretty jealous. It's man. been. It's there's so many people thinking about me. So many people talking about me. <laughs> this is really something special, How isn't nice. it? So I think yeah. I think the way that it started, to my knowledge, let me know if there's a, a pre date yeah. for, for this specific one. It's that Asmund played Dragon's Dogma. And apparently you sucked ass. I did. I sucked complete dick at the game. I heard you yeah. rage quit. Well, I didn't, no, I, I didn't rage quit. I was just chat. like, uh, this isn't really, because it's like Skyrim, right? And yeah. in a way, like, it's not really a good stream game. So I'm like, ah, you know, I'm going to just go and play this off stream. And so I played it off stream. I put like 10 hours into the game, maybe 15 hours into the game off stream. I love it. It's a great game. Yeah. I just didn't want to play it on stream. That's all. And so people took that as like, I hate the game. And it's like, oh, is this, isn't this the guy that said the game was bad? And it's like, no, yeah. no, when did I say that? <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's after one person says something stupid, enough people, if enough people say something, it becomes true. Yeah. That's just how it is. I, I didn't know you were going to play Dragon's Dogma this earlier uh, or this early because I would have given you a warning because I played that shit 10 years ago. It was yeah. great 10 years ago. I find it very dated to today's standards. Oh, I, I think it's great. I yeah. really enjoy the game a lot. And it is dated, but yeah. like that's a good thing in a lot of cases, right? For sure. Um, like, you know, there's no battle pass in the game. There's no uh, there's no pay to win nice. in the game. You know what's crazy? It's dated. I love battle passes. <laughs> really? I don't think they're a bad thing at all. <laughs> Why? I hate them. Because, okay, I just, I don't know, man. I, maybe I'm the target demographic, but like if I don't have a battle pass, I just stopped playing the game. If the well, game didn't, didn't they literally base the model for battle passes off of mobile games? They probably so did. Oh, well, yeah. Sense. It's like login yeah. rewards. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's login it's rewards. Like, oh, this is such a bad thing. This is the worst thing I've ever given. 
if if a battle pass isn't in my game, then why would I log on? Like, why would I need to log on? I well, mean, you that's don't. That's what they want, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't have to. They want like, you to log dude, on and I play don't, fifty fucking games. I yeah, you have don't to pay twenty dollars to have to play your well, video. What, what game. game are you playing with a battle pass? Fucking Fortnite. Fortnite? What else is that? It uh, Fortnite cookie cu- uh, cookie cookie cookie. Okay, run. well that, that is a mobile game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cookie, run, yeah. cookie Run Kingdom, Honkai Star Rail. Mobile games. Honkai yeah. Star Rail has a battle pass. I kind, guess the name was Honor. They kind of do, yeah, right? Have, I mean, yeah, it's basically a battle. I, yeah. I bought I bought that one, but like that's just you know me just paying to win, right? Dude, I I know your chat is gonna hate this. Yeah, because I know your chat. I think I think your chat's pretty free to play. They or they don't don't spend money on games. They don't, don't like in. weebs. They don't like anime girls. Well, they like some of them. Uh, and they don't like any of this other stuff. Yeah, they yeah. hate it. I, I like when I'm like, oh, I buy this thing for $20 and for 30 days, I have a reason to get online because I don't want to miss out on these crazy rewards. That's, like even the Suicide Squad. I did not mind the business practice of Suicide Squad. That's insane to me. Yeah. Like I have never bought a battle pass besides like just to pay to win one for like a meme in yeah. my life. Oh, I'm like, the problem. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> like, I, I've never, like for Diablo 4, I got like the ex- extra edition, right? So I could play early and it gave me a free battle pass. Yeah. I redeemed my battle pass. I didn't even re- redeem the rewards from it. Dude. Like I just let them rot. Fuck them. Oh, and Team Fight Tactics. Uh, another great one. Uh, oh, yeah, even, even when I had no money, yeah, I just, I love spending money on video games. Really? I just, I, there's something about it. I don't. I put myself into turmoil over this. It's just like, I love being able to spend money on my favorite thing, even if it's infinite. That's why I I'm- like being able to, I like exploiting games. So like yes. at this very moment, you see like there was a raid that came out for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Yep. You saw that? So I did the raid and the raid's pretty hard. But what if I told you that I found a way to automate it to where I'm doing that raid right now? As we speak. As we fucking speak. I, I have it all fucking planned out. It's AFK, completely proof. Everything's totally fine. How do you do that? Uh, well, I had like, so it's not against the rules to have like a clicker thing. Yeah. And so I have a character that does his heavy attack, makes him dodge. And then so I also got another uh, buff like an item, like a gem thing that makes his dodges longer. And then I have another buff that makes his dodges also always perfect dodges. And then I have another buff that makes his perfect dodges heal you. And then Uh I have another buff that makes the perfect dodges last longer. And so, you know, basically he's just dodging into a wall infinitely doing nothing while my NPCs kill the boss. That's insane. Yeah. And so that's what I like doing in games. I like cheating in games in ways that aren't against the rules. It's like a puzzle. I don't like I don't like cheating. I like exploiting. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun though. It's creative, I guess. <laughs> yes. Me, when when did the when did the battle pass originate? Fortnite? Fortnite battle pass? That was pretty much the big one. That was the big one. Cause yeah, been, that's when a bunch of other games started implementing them. Yep. Like I think even Apex has one now. What, what was your first in game purchase? Oh, wow. Um, Mine was either, uh, there was a Facebook game called Farmville. Jesus. You spent money on Farmville. So here's the thing, right? They had cows, but during this limited time St. Patrick's Day event, they had green alien space cows. I remember you saying this. And they would make green milk. Green milk, yeah. Green milk. Or it was Gaia Online. And for Gaia Online, I wanted to get the Dark Star Shuriken to impress the e-girls because I really wanted the girlfriend. Did they get impressed? Yeah. No, I bet. And yeah. then my account got hacked and I lost all my shit. Oh wow. Well. So I money well spent. So I told my buddy about how I got hacked and how he should be careful. And then I went on his account and I stole all his shit. I said, Wow, well, you must have got hacked. That <laughs> sucks, bro. Like <laughs> you too? Hey, sorry, Sean. Really sorry about that. Hey, He's in jail him. now. He probably deserved it. Anyway. Yeah, fuck him, dude. Yeah. yeah, fuck him. What was y'all's first in-game purchase? I'm really trying to think about that because like, I think that in WoW, I bought WoW tokens to give away gold on my stream. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think I've ever spent money. No, wait. I bought one of those cats in Black Desert yeah. to loot things for me. Yep. And then I bought two more cats because you needed three to be at maximum efficiency. That was your first? Yeah. It was my only one, Isn't too. Black Desert, um, like 2000. 
and 16, 16? or 17. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how Why did, would I spend money in a video game? I already bought it. How, how did it make you feel? I felt like a. I felt like I was eating a dick every time I opened up that trade thing. I did. I felt like I was just getting cheated. I felt like a fucking moron. Like, because like you had to buy this costume, right? Because in Black Desert back then, right? Like I would play Black Desert fifteen hours a day, and it was fucking amazing. I loved it, yeah. and I would just kill the same mobs over and over. But I was like one of the top ten on the server for a level, yeah. and so. There was a costume that you would get that would give you 10% more experience. So it's like, I'm not going to fucking not have this. It's yep. $20. Yep. So I bought it and then I had that too. And so, yeah, I felt like a fucking idiot doing that. And I was like, this is, I was thinking to myself, oh my God. Even at the time, I was like, what if other games start doing this? Uh, well, yeah, what if? Only. Wow, that would be here a crazy reality. Wait, so, uh, okay, how, how much were those? I don't know, it's like 20 bucks. Okay. What it was BDO That's free? That's a lot for one thing. Mm -hmm. Is BDO free? Uh, no. I think that it was like fifteen you bucks buy it, or something. You buy it and then it's buy to play though, right? So you don't have to pay a sub. Okay. Yeah, I do think it is annoying when paid games yeah. offer paid like money bonuses. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, Mass Effect Three really fucked me for that because uh, there was a bunch of shit that you could buy uh, loot boxes for in Mass Effect Three. I fucking love that game. Yeah, loot boxes. I think is my first game purchase yep. to Overwatch because I I had League skins, but I think like they were usually gifted or like I got them from yeah, like must their be thing. Nice. I just I assume yeah. that if you are <laughs> if like it, I feel whenever I played Overwatch, I would feel like a dick eater if I ever bought a loot box. Dude, I just loop, never loot did boxes it. boxes were because you would spend like 50 bucks for like 20 and then not get anything. We, or you could just play the game and it's like, who gives a fuck? Like, I got a, I got a costume. It put a shark head on Roadhog Inside. and that made me happy in 2018. <laughs> yep. And I never stopped being happy about it. And like now I think I have one red costume that makes Reinhardt's hammer and axe. And that's it. I don't need anything else. Really? I don't need to make it like, you know, Moira look like Lilith or some bullshit. No, it's fine. The Within the first hour of me downloading and playing Apex Legends, I dropped $100 on loot boxes. I spent about $300 on Apex Legends. Yeah, uh, because, nice. Well, because I wanted to get the Wraith Dagger from, because uh, like if you opened, if you spent $500, Airlines. you would get the Artifact uh, Dagger. And I only spent 200 because it's like, if I spent 500, it wouldn't be entertaining. So I hear the part where you said only 200? Well, yeah, because like if I spent $500 and I actually guaranteed that I got it, it wouldn't be fun to watch because everybody would, knew, would know what the outcome would be, right? So it's like, you have to spend a cheaper amount of money so then you can act like you're sad whenever you don't get it. Yeah, so you save money. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You're saving money and nice. you're making better content. But oh. I never got the dagger. And now... A word from our sponsors. Hey everybody, Emro here to talk to you about today's sponsor, Marvel Strike Force. In case you haven't heard, Marvel Strike Force is a mobile action RPG game that lets you go into battle with squads of your favorite superheroes and supervillains. And not just a few of them. There are literally hundreds of character options you can choose from within the Marvel Universe. Thanks, Emmy. Asmongold here. That's right, you can level up your characters while fighting against classic threats like Doctor Doom and Apocalypse. However, there's something special going on right now, Marvel Strike Force's six-year anniversary. That's great, Asmin, but I got this. Throughout the anniversary, there are in-game events that offer plenty of sick bonuses if you can complete them in time. I'm talking about gear, skins, resources, you name it. Hey, Imaru here. And if you sign up with our QR code on the screen right now, you'll be able to get in-game rewards for free. And who doesn't like free Act stuff? Act to me, Asmongold. If you log in daily, you can take full advantage of new characters that are being released just for this special event. There's plenty to do in-game too, whether you want to just grind out the solo campaign or if you prefer to battle it out with other players in all of the different PvP game modes. The event's limited time only, so make sure that you jump in using our QR code on the screen or in the link in the description. And thank you again, Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring our podcast. Yeah, uh, did you say that was the only loot box that you ever purchased, or the only in game purchase you ever did was the loot box? Only? No, not only. I just think that was the first. You know what I've done the past week? What? I started a new game, Cookie Run Kingdom. Yeah. I'm playing, I'm playing it for me. I'm not doing it for Disgusting. content. This is, a, this is a genuine. <laughs> this is for me. This is, a, this is a for me. It's like makeup, you know? Yeah. I'm playing this game for me, which I really ever have games that I play for me. I have gotten back in the league as well because all of my mains are OP as fuck right now. Mordekaiser, Trundle, Volibear, holy fuck, I'm owning, 
regardless, I have probably dropped near five hundred. Is Bobby Bear the one from that Shy Lily clip? The Shy what Shy Lily clip? <laughs> did you see Shy Lily put me on her titties? Yeah, I did see that, bro. On <laughs> her, her boob? That was insane. Yeah, she like she. Well, she, this is like the new meta, right? On Twitch, yeah, is like you have these girls that are wearing. A like a you know like clothes and like they color code the coat the, the green clothes screen pants. as like a green screen and then they put gameplay on the clothes and then right underneath it's their ass. Yep, it's pretty impressive. It is the best meta ever. <laughs> well, like the best. That my favorite part about this is that like usually whenever you have like one of these things happen on Twitch, as soon as it goes to Twitter, everybody's like these fucking hoes, right? Yeah. But like this one is so creative. That everybody is actually like, I'm not even mad. <laughs> like, I'm not even mad. This is this is impressive. It's good. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think it's harming anyone. Uh, letting right. you guys know. Careful with checking out my stream tomorrow. Okay. Because uh, yeah, I'll be no. doing it. Yeah, we're going to be round two and up. Yeah, I, I bet you are. We're going to be playing Fortnite on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this episode's going to age amazingly, bro. I can't oh, wait. Oh, God. <sighs> Yeah. Did, did you ever get banned for the black bar thing you did? I can't be banned. Why? I don't know. A man came up to me several years ago and he said, uh, he talked to Twitch and they said that they would never ban me. And since then, I've never been banned. Well, that pretty much fucking settles it, doesn't yep. it? Yep. <laughs> didn't, so, didn't Amaranth say the same thing and people were like fucking pissed at her? I don't know. Has Amaranth been banned? <laughs> She's no, been banned before. A long before, time ago, like, she yeah, said something time, like, yeah. Don't bother reporting me because they end up in the trash or something. Yeah. And people were fucking pissed. Good. Let them be angry. Don't yeah. care. Yeah, I cannot be banned. <laughs> uh, nor will I be. Uh, but yeah, uh, I've been playing Cookie Run Kingdom and I've dropped $500 <laughs> in this game completely offline. I bought Sugar Gnome so I can build buildings faster. And this is the worst game I've ever played. And I love it so much. Why are you doing it? I don't know, man. It's just something. It's like, it's like a, if you've played it, you'd get it but it's like, it's so oversaturated. There's so many colors happening at all times. The The monsters only have one voice line. They say it a thousand times each fight. Oh, oh speaking of which, one of the guys is voiced by Anduin. So like you're giving them money because it's bad? Yeah. Like maybe one day it'll be good? No, it's just like, I enjoy this type of content. People, people oh. think these are bad games. I think they're great games. I love games where it takes absolutely zero skill. There is there is nothing worth earning in the game. Everything can be bought, and for something I just, yeah, I played WoW too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. It's just it makes me feel like I'm hip. It makes me feel like I'm still gaming, like I still have it, you know, because I'm still playing a game. So I can tell, yeah, guys, I'm a gamer because I've just been falling off lately, man. I just I just watch videos all day, and I, you know, I, I need something because I go to the gym too much now. I feel yeah. like it's something that connects me to my roots. I go on the treadmill and I play Cookie Run. That way, I'm like you know one of the streamers. I feel, like, I feel like it's important for me to uh, understand who I am. And also, like, I'm known as the gotcha guy, and I fucking only play, like, one gotcha. Yeah. So now I'm going to play, like, four, five. Well, like, there's a number of good ones coming out, right? They've got the Zenless Zone Zero, yeah, Wuthering Waves. Wuthering like, Waves oh, would be good. You, you think Zenless Zone Zero is yeah, going to suck? Dead. It's dead. Okay. Is that fair. bad? Yeah, it's really bad. There's what, a, just like the combat is uh, bad? No, the, um, the, the, the way you get to the combat is really bad. The, yeah, there's like this like weird thing where like you think about, all right, imagine if you had like 50 of those, the TVs, mm -hmm. and like they're stacked on top of each other and you have to go through them in a maze. That's and, you, and like the entire game is built off of that. It's so bad. It's like, so uh, it's like an old Persona dungeon, but worse. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't do that one, but yeah, maybe <laughs> they're like they're randomly generated. And they just, they're all the yeah. same. <laughs> it's like Persona's Overworld if it was the worst thing ever. Uh, yeah. Where it's like instead of going into the TV, you're just the TV now. It's so bad. You're in the TV. Okay. But there's a new CBT. Maybe they'll just take out the TV system. They won't. But I'll still cope and say that they will. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, because like, okay, admittedly, I'm also playing uh, a difficult game about climbing, which uh, I think both of you guys should play. Yeah, I thought about playing that, but then I realized that I've already lost enough self-respect. Yeah. I played that a bit yesterday. It's good. It's it's difficult. Climbing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where'd you get to? Um, Did you get to the waterfall? Like first checkpoint. The waterfall? Yeah. You made it to the waterfall. Well, okay, so what happened was Miz, okay. Miz asked me to go on his stream and do like, uh, like, play games together. And I was like, sure. That's where you hit him, though. I get there. Yes, I get there. And he's like, okay, I have no plans, but what if we raced in Mario? Then I was like, 
yeah, but okay, we could play this new game and then we just like take turns or like share the controller. So we're playing the game and then he gets so into it. This just, I never get the controller back. So I was like, well, all, all right. It's been fun, guys. I was like, <laughs> time for me to go do my taxes. Yeah. Are you doing your taxes? Well, I, I just like collect my sh- Oh, okay. Know, like my tax guys, adult stuff. My tax guys overpaid by half a million dollars last year. Yeah. So now I don't have to pay taxes until quarter three. I nice. overpaid uh, like last year and yeah. they sent me, they said, we're going to give you your money back. Mm. And then they sent me another letter and they said, wait a minute. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember 2018? I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> like, you're not getting your money wait, back, bitch. Damn, wait, dude. They were asking about 2000. Oh, dude, I got a legal notice from the state of Kansas because apparently I missed like $1,000 in a payment. They were like, if you don't give us this $1,000, we are going to send legal people after you. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I yeah, didn't know. Uh, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, it said like, we'll like, you know, take your wages. We'll like send police, like not police. Garnish your know, wages. Send, send people things to, your to recover. Door. Oh yeah. Yeah. My problem is, is that whenever for 2021, I get to- not 2018, that's crazy. Oh yeah. I've been at me for a while, but they just, they finally got it. They got their money. Damn. <laughs> whenever these people say I owe money or they're going to give me money, I just think it's a scam. Well, like, you know, what the- I don't know what to do. Well, I was just thinking about this. Like I owed them like forty eight thousand dollars, and they yeah. were going to give me like fifty one thousand dollars. I never got the three thousand. I Where think they it? just pocketed it. Wait, well, good for Probably. them. Probably just said fuck you. Yeah, they ninja looted it. Been too long. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's crazy. Yeah. How, so in other countries, they'll send you like, hey, this is how much you owe in taxes. Pay us like by this day or whatever. Yeah. And then here mm. it's like we got to do it ourselves, and then it's like okay, like well, but they clearly know how much we owe. So why don't they just, why don't they, but why not, why won't they just tell us? There's plenty of ways you cheat on your taxes. There's so many ways. There is, but like, there's crazy amount of ways. I I just, once again, I was talking about this all day today because I literally just asked my tax guy, what percent of my income do I pay in taxes? And he says, well, it's actually like a staircase. And so for the first like 10,000, you pay like 5%. Then once you make it to 600,000, then you have to pay 32%. 39. Yeah. And it's just like, what the fuck? I don't understand. Maybe someone in this room can explain me why. Why doesn't, not the same amount, but the same percent. Why doesn't everyone just say, pay the same? Like you pay 15% of what you make. It's universal. Why is that a problem? Because 15% is too low. And also because people that are making a very small amount of money, that percentage is much like, so if you're making, uh-huh. let's say a half a million dollars a year, Like there is a large percentage of that money that you're not actually going to have to spend in terms of dispose, like, and you actually have as, you know, quote, disposable income. But the issue is that whenever people aren't making that much money, they don't really have a large percentage that's left over for disposable income. So the idea of like a progressive tax system is to prevent people from like, you know, getting taxed at like 35% or 30% or 25% whenever they're barely making any money because 25% of the money that they are making basically puts them into the red and then they can't afford to live. So like the idea is that, you know, basically the poor people don't pay as much money because they literally can't pay the money and then rich people pay more money because again, the reason why the rich people are rich is because the government fucking protects them, right? I mean, like, because if, if they weren't getting protected, people would just go kill them and take their shit. So that's the way it works. I mean, it does make sense. A lot of other tax codes things don't, but that one does. Okay, I still don't get it. Okay, so like, basically, mm-hmm. um, all right, so imagine you have $50,000 okay. and you have to spend $40,000 uh, a year in order to live, right? So you have an extra $10,000 left over. Yep. So let's say you make $100,000 a year Mm -hmm. and you also only have to spend $40,000 a year to live. Yep. Right? So then the amount of money that's being taxed percentage-wise is totally different. That's how like, for example, sales tax is a regressive tax on poorer people because they're spending a larger percentage of their money on the economy and on things that are being used for sales tax. Okay. Right? All right. Yeah. I still don't get it. Yeah. I just you don't have get it. more money. You need to pay more money. So it's a, it's a matter okay. of like percentages. So like the percentage that you have whenever you're not making a lot of money, almost all of your money you are already spending, right? 
because you don't have any fucking money. So you yeah. need to spend your money to live, right? Yeah. So how the fuck would you be able to pay 35% if you didn't make that, if you, if you made that little amount of money? Wait, so like, okay. So my, okay. But wouldn't it just scale? Would it not? That's... No, it does that's scale. What it that's does. what you're... Isn't that what you're asking? But, so well, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying like, I'm saying like so, 15% so, to this guy is the 15% no, of the not. other guy. Oh, so this is, this is what's interesting about it, right? Uh, so like 15%, basically people's expenses do not scale at the same level as their income does usually, right? Mm. So what's going to happen is that people that have very low income also have very high scaling expenses, because they don't have enough money to start saving that money. And because of that, like they're spending 90% of their income, so they only have 10% left. So then that 10% left that they have is getting taxed at 8% because they're not able to save any of that money. So like you're talking about a percentage that's being spent on the money being taxed at a certain rate, like for example, sales tax or income tax. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm fucking retarded, bro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, Wait, no, so what are you? Just, so what, what are you asking? Like, why do richer people have to pay a higher percent? No, 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 no. I'm just asking. Why don't we just all pay the same percent? Why don't we just have the same percent? Well, because it wouldn't work. Yeah. 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 It wouldn't right? work. Because like well, I can tell that what you're saying like, you makes can, sense. You can you can pay you can pay fifty percent of your money in taxes, right? Yeah. Like if you cut your income in half, you could just give that money away, right? Yeah. Could a person who makes forty thousand dollars a year do that? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Exactly. That's the point. Okay. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, it's like kind of like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's yeah, like true. a, hold up. No, I'm getting there. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like when you're at church and you give away money to make people feel better. Yeah. And it's like, if you're Donald Trump, you can put it in a, put in a hundred or 200, but if you're- But he won't because rich people don't pay taxes. Well, um, and you know why? Yeah. Well, some, I mean, rich people do pay taxes in some cases, but- um, the reason why is because they have a lot of like different like rules. Like for example, like uh, you know, venture capitalist firms like they invest a bunch of money yeah. and they lose a lot of the money, but they write the losses off as tax write offs, and yeah. then the money that they make it's it's a and guess who affects the tax law, right? So it's like you've got this this really really good system that just works out in favor of the people that happen to have connections to the people that make the system. What a fucking surprise. Wow. Who could <laughs> yeah. have ever guessed this? I mean, it, it, just for, for my credit. Yeah. It's, it's got to be hard for people to understand this now. Like, well, it's not it's, just me. Like, it's, it, it's, it's hard to understand. So if it wasn't hard, then you wouldn't have people that have laws and, and like degrees in tax law. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. I mean, I, it's extremely complex. Because like, I, I was looking at you and every, I know that you were saying something that made sense. I just can't get it. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe that's, uh, you know, that's on me, obviously. It's much better to explain visually. Yeah. And so, yeah, if you have like a chart, it's much easier to kind of see the difference. Is it kind of like a solidarity thing? Like I try to help out the other people who live in my nation? Well, this is the way that I see it, right? Yeah. Is like I used to be on food stamps and the government used to pay for as much of my stuff as I could possibly get them to. Mm -hmm. And I was in neat and I lived in my house and all I did was eat stale uh, Lucky Charms and play World of Warcraft and buy 44 ounce drinks Jack in the Box for $1. Never forget. And so now it now it's four dollars. And so now that I'm making money, I am now funding the next generation of losers like me to sit at home and you know buy four dollar drinks at Jack in the Box and eat moldy Lucky Charms too. Mm. And so it's like it's the cycle of life, or the cycle of not having a life in this in this case. Okay. Um, so I wanted to talk real quick because we 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 breezed past yeah. the beginning of the podcast, and I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Yeah. Asma Gold facing yet another cancellation. Racism. We all agree that that's bad. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, misogyny. <laughs> misogyny. We all agree that that's bad. Women are? Misog right. Misogyny. Bad. Transphobic? Bad. Okay. Fatphobic. Oh, look. I don't if, get it. If you're fat, it's bad. It's bad, guys. I'm just going to say it. So Shut if up. you're fat, it's bad for you. I'm going to give you some other examples. Like I, whenever I drink this, it's bad. Like this is bad. It's bad to drink this. Absolutely. You shouldn't drink it. Drink water, drink something else. But uh, if you are morbidly obese, it's bad for you. I and don't think it's an unpopular opinion that like people say like, oh, 
saying that someone is unhealthy and should lose weight is not fat phobic. I think fat phobic is, you know, like treating people shitty because they're fat or maybe like someone's kind of chubby, like acting like they're fucking obese. Cause like there are people that are bigger and are, are not unhealthy. I don't think, but like some things that he says, I think people say is fat phobic. I don't think that oh, they really because are. That's, that's because I say it in the worst way I possibly can. Well, yeah, there's no, that. I, I think that what you're saying is the nuance take and I think that's the correct take. But the problem is I actually think the exact opposite where I do think if you tell someone they're unhealthy and they need to lose weight, they will take offense to that. That's why these well, fucking no, are they, people. No, they will, so but I don't yes. think it's fat phobic. Here's what the problem Neither is, do, right? I don't think it's fat phobic either. Is you have people, you have uh, self-indulgent hogs that are 480 pounds that want to be on the cover of a magazine yep. for a health thing. Okay, and yeah. Well, I, I this think most is, people this are is cool like, it, like <laughs> I don't think that we need to be glorifying being massively overweight in any capacity. It's the same as like smoking, right? Like what the fuck we got One past million that. percent. Yeah, exactly. And like, but the thing is with fat shaming, like a lot of the people that make fun of fat people are not like, oh, I want to motivate you to start exercising. No, it's just like, I want to make fun of you for being a fatty because I want to be mean. You know, that's really what they're trying <laughs> yeah. to do. And so whenever I see that, like fat shaming is obviously bad, but there should definitely be fat awareness. Of course. That's what really it is. But just because somebody is fat, like not everybody wants to hear your advice on how to live their life, right? Or how you think that, you know, they should live their life. And so, yeah, I think that's clearly what the yeah, difference like, is. Yeah, it's like mind your business. Like if you yeah. saw someone that was obviously sick, like had cancer, like you wouldn't tell them like, oh, like well, you should try this. You should go back to the doctor. Like, I mean, people are fat know that they're fat. Like you don't need to like tell them what to do. Sure. I just, I just feel like the word fat phobic, it just pisses me off. Because I feel like it's none other than one of these terms that these fucking pussies use who want to use to justify their lifestyles of being lazy as fuck, where they don't want to go to the gym, and they say, "If you tell me that I need to lose weight, then you're being, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're uh, in, inhibiting yourself on my ability to be happy for who I, I am." I hope they keep doing it because I make videos about it a lot, and the yeah. videos are really popular about fat people, you know, and about like every single time like one of them gets on like the cover of a magazine, I can like make a video about that. So I hope they keep it up. <laughs> I just, yeah. I, I hate it, dude. I, I've lost a lot of friends just for being absolute fat fucks. You know, like the lifespan drops down from like, uh, I, there's got to be a drastic drop off whether you live oh, yeah. your life at 150 compared to fucking 500 fucking pounds. Like I remember when I was three. You guys think of one famous person who's extremely fat. Chris and Farley. old and old. I don't know any. And old? Yeah, think about any really yeah, old they're all, fat They're people. all in good shape. Yeah. yeah. Don't know any. Do you know why? They because they Because the fat ones are dead. Yep. The only one that everybody knows, the only very famous fat person that's very old. Well, how old is Gabriel Santa Iglesias? Santa Claus. Oh. Gabriel <laughs> <laughs> really, really, he's not like obese, is he? I don't really Gabriel remember. Gabriel Iglesias? He's a big dude. He's, that, he's, that, a, he's, he's a big old fat. Yeah. Because like, dude, when I, was, getting older. when I was 330 pounds, yeah. I had all these issues. Like my life felt like uh, it was like in a fog. I could barely breathe. Uh, my heart rate would be like arresting 100. At, good God, oh, that's yeah, a, he's a, a, that's a fat big dude. guy. That's a fatty. Yep. Wide. Like my resting heart rate was like 105. Yep. It was oh, terrible. God. But then, you know, I got bullied on the internet being told, hey, fucking fat fuck, get to the gym. Did yeah. Camp Canoe, lost 90 pounds. I feel like a completely new human being. Yeah. And it sucks because I made this comment on my Twitch chat this morning and they said, hey man, losing weight's like not easy, bro. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. No, nobody ever said that it is. Nobody's going to the gym saying, oh man, I fucking love doing this. This is so easy, man. Well, it's if like you're fat, air. walking up the stairs isn't easy, but they managed to do that. Yeah, exactly. Especially there's a yeah. fucking ice cream cone on top. <laughs> it's so fucking frustrating because it's like, dude, I'm not going to the gym loving it. I, I fucking hate it. It sucks. But after I'm done, I feel better. I look better. And it would just be very nice to not have another one of these things where it's like, we are going to prevent you from trying to help your friends to get better by labeling something else well, as fucking the, fat phobic. So we talked about this a bit and we'll talk about the Dr. K thing because yep. I think this is actually very close. So Dr. K was talking about people that had, uh, you know, he's like trying to draw a distinction between people that have like legit, like mental pathological illness versus people who just have logically come to a conclusion that their life isn't worth living. And people got mad about that. And I think the reason why is that 80 to 90% of all self-help on the internet is just self-indulgent. It's self-indulgent bullshit to make people who are doing bad things 
think that it's not their fault that they're doing the bad things. Can you give an example? Uh, yeah, basically. So like there are guys out there that have uh, their incels, right? Yep. I'm going to give like a number of examples. Yeah. So guys that I are get incels, it, but I want to make sure they guys get it. that are incels and they think that, you know, the reason why they can't get a girlfriend is because of hoflation. It's because- <laughs> uh, What is ho- <laughs> Wait, what's hoflation? Ho-fl- what do you think it is? Just think, think about it. Like, is think it like, about the word. Like, so like ho- hoes, women, is it women having higher standards? It's just that simple. Is that, so that that is what it is? That's hoflation. So hoes having too high of standards. Well, why would they want to date someone that they think is a ho? Well, because, because all a ho. girls are hoes. Oh, they're all hoes? And so that goes, uh, back to my, okay. that goes back to my point, right? And so like you go and you see this, but then whenever you go to their house, you go to their room, there's 35 different figurines of anime lollies. And yep. so it's like this person thinks that they can't get a girlfriend because of hoflation. No, you can't get a girlfriend because your life is a complete mess. Nobody wants to be around you. You don't have any guy friends either, except for other weirdos on the internet. And so like, that's kind of what happens is so people seek out different types of like people to tell them that, well, it's actually not your fault that you don't have a girlfriend. It's actually because of dating apps and these other things. And so they never get challenged to actually improve themselves on a personal level. They just get basically... uh you know, into a, like a fucking vicious cycle of learned helplessness where all they're doing like that is just feeding, you know, it's, it's an actual like legit thing. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it, it's like a feeding frenzy on making themselves feel good for doing things that are bad and then consuming media that reaffirms that the bad things they're doing aren't their fault and are in fact not the cause of the problems they have. And so people constantly look for like, you know, for example, like if you're not happy with your life, you're not happy with your job, you should try to work to improve your life and improve your job and get something else, right? But like, if you say that, well, it's like, oh, well, it's just a streamer telling me this. Well, I'm not going to listen to them. They have it so easy. And then it's like, well, I can't do this because of capitalism. And so there's always reasons that people create and justifications that they want to have for why they're not able to do something. And a lot of the self-help that's popular on the internet is not about helping people. It's about reaffirming those biases. Yeah. It's like when people say, um, they, they kind of self-diagnose themselves with having a mental illness. So that way they or feel multiple like- multiple ones. Yes. And that yeah. way their issue isn't no longer a them problem. It's a, oh, this is just who I am and I can't help it. So exactly. you have to yeah. accept it. Which I, I, I've I hate actually, that shit. I've read a lot of self-help help books. I had a phase where I was really into them. And I would usually just like buy ones that like had a lot of reviews or were more popular. Uh-huh. And I did notice that all the really popular self-help books, well, like probably 90% of them, they're kind of all the same. Like they all, for the most part, say the same thing. And the general idea is like, you have to like accept yourself. You have to like be okay with these things. And like that, like, that's not like all of what they say, but like the ones that are like, oh, here's some ideas. Like, why don't you like do this? Get off your ass. Try this. People, those ones are not as popular. Of course not, because nobody wants to hear that they're a loser even if they are. And so this is the problem. And, and like, that's why self-help is so toxic. Like internet self-help communities are so toxic in a lot of cases. Yeah, even like is, some philosophies that I noticed are getting popular, like stoicism. And I really like stoicism. Like I've read like Marcus Aurelius meditations and stuff. I just enjoy it. But I do think a lot of people that like those philosophies are why they're popular is because like the whole idea is like, why you need to like accept what you can't change pretty much. And change what you can't accept. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And, and like, you're, you're right. That, that, that's what happens is that you have people and they're so fixated on trying to figure out why it's somebody else's fault that they've had this happen that they never actually try to improve yeah, their or own like life. Yeah, or like be at peace with yeah. how things are the way that they are instead yeah. of, you know... Except being garbage. Exerting effort and dealing with uh, uncomfortable situations. Yes. Yeah. So we were talking about the Dr. K and the reaction to that. So people are so mad about that because Dr. K basically he, and this is another thing that people have. A lot of people misunderstand what empathy is. And so Dr. K is talking about this person's life from the perspective of this person. Mm -hmm. Like obviously you can't really have an objective logical perspective on anybody's real life because it's subjective fundamentally, right? 
But you have Dr. K who's talking about it from their perspective and other people are getting mad at him because they literally can't put themselves in the shoes of another person. Of course. And I think that that's very common. And so a lot of people misunderstand empathy with sympathy or just simply, oh, other people supporting me. Like empathy is whenever you agree with me, you know, basically yeah, so that's empathy it. Empathy is when you're agreeing with me and telling me that I'm right. And, yeah. But if you disagree with me, then you're being toxic. You're not em empathetic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm getting bullied. You're getting harassed now. Yeah. I think there yeah. is nothing more dangerous in this world for people who blindly agree with every single person's issues without asking for the full for the full. Well, picture. you can like, so for example, I can understand and empathize with the person that it's like, hey, you know, like you did this thing and you ruined your life. This is really bad. And I feel really bad for you. But at the same time, you fucking deserved it. And you shouldn't have done that. You know? So it's like there's, and, and both of these things can be true. It's like, but you can look at it from their perspective and see kind of how another person's feels. And that's like the problem is like, if you can't see things from another person's perspective, you can't get inside their head, then you can't make them change what they're going to do. Yeah, I, I feel like unconditional support is one of the most dangerous things you can offer someone because when all you do is tell them, oh, you're so right, They're, you were so wronged, I can't believe they did this to you, is how these fucking untalented 35-year-old uh, depressed single mothers end up on American Idol and make a fucking fool out of themselves because no one told them, hey, Becky, you actually can't fucking sing. Go get some lessons before you make a fool out of yourself. But when they say, oh, yeah, Queen, you're killing it. Oh, my God, you're so great. That's how they just completely ruin their lives and uh, destroy their public image. I, I really don't care for that whatsoever. Is I, that a common thing? Oh my God. Well, yeah, of course. Thing? American Idol, they always bring on some like really stupid looking person and it's like, do you want to sing? Yeah, but like, they, they do yeah. that on purpose. You think so? Yeah, because then people are going to watch. Yeah, but imagine that person though thinks that they're insane well, because they never had someone to tell them, yeah, I don't know about this one, Sarah. Maybe we, maybe we try something else. I think people do give like, it, it's like, a lot of people don't want the confrontation or the conflict of like, does this dress make me look fat? You no, know, no, just like, I don't want to deal with it. No. Oh my that's God, it. bro. Why ask me a question where you only want one specific answer to? I hate that shit, dude. If, if, uh, it's like, why are you going to ask me if you look fat if you don't want to be told yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah. you should change. Well, people just want reassurance. That's what they want. They don't want advice. They don't want help. They want reassurance. They, they want to be told that what they are already doing and what they already think is the right thing to do or to think. But here's the thing, man. I, I Okay, I'll be real. I have 1 million percent been asked that question and I have 1 million percent said, yes, you do. Yeah? But, well, how did that go? Well, it didn't go good. Yeah. But like, I don't want my friend to go out looking bad because they don't want that. So I could lie and make them feel better. But what I said was, yeah, I don't know about that outfit. Maybe we should try something else. Yeah. And I would like to make this very clear. This is not even to a woman. I said this to a man, made that very clear. Oh, if it's a okay. guy, I'll be like, yeah, you look like a bitch. A exactly. <laughs> but even a loser. Yeah. Well, this was a very sensitive man. Regardless, he looked fucking terrible. And yeah. I said, yes, you should try something different. But I don't understand how these people feel like they have the right to ask me a question that I'm only allowed to answer in a specific way. Otherwise, they get offended. Because otherwise, They're it's insecure. Like, well, then don't make me be your security. I hate that That's shit, That's what bro. they do. I mean, it's just how they are. I mean, yeah. fuck. It's like, for example, if you were to say, hey, man, how's my hair look? What do you think I would say? If you were to ask me. I don't know. How does my hair look? It looks good. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, really? I like yourself. <laughs> you made that sound like you were setting it up so yeah. you could be a <laughs> no, fucking I asshole. Pretty good. Yeah, I actually, I need to get a hair transplant or something. I, gotta I don't think you do. Out. No, I, yeah, that's, see, now you're doing it. No, no. no. like genuinely, I, genuinely, I feel I don't like either. it's a, you think he does or doesn't? No, I think he needs to shave his head and I'm going to transplant. Oh. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That's I've talked about this at length, bro. I feel like, oh, I don't know. I just, I really don't want you to get one, man. I want you to shave your head so bad. I'll have to. Are, if I get are one. hair yeah. transplants that bad looking? There's, I have, firstly, I've never seen a good one on a man. I've never seen a good one on a man, personally. There's someone we know who has how one that I don't know if you know that they how have do you, one. Yeah, how, the ones that you, it's- Wait, can I whisper it to you? What? Well, I, I'm just so whispering because I don't know so if they've So the good people. hair transplants are the ones that you don't recognize. So you have a confirmation bias of only noticing all the bad ones. It's the same with CGI in movies, for example. 
You always notice bad CGI, but you never notice. I mean, the that's good what CGI. I've been told. My mind is blown. I'm just, I'm just real. not sure if he's like yeah. said it, so I don't want to like, like say like, it if he has. not How big? You know what I mean? Probably not. Probably not yeah, that like, crazy. I've seen like big, I've never seen a big like for example. Oh well, if you're fucking bald and trying to put hair up yeah. there, then yeah, that's probably rough. Yeah, like, but uh, if it's like, like a hairline, what do you think, what do you think of preaches? Okay. I, I've not seen him in real life. I haven't seen him recently, right? So okay. I'm not sure. Like what in the beginning, it didn't look good, but like that's because it was like a multi phase thing. Yeah, I, I thought he looked better bald. Okay. Personally, I also, I'll be real, I like the bald look. Okay. It, uh, I don't know, it's freeing. How much time a day do you waste like fucking with your hair? How often do you think about your hair? Uh, I mean, like, Probably quite a bit. Really not a lot, man. I'm going to be honest. Like, not a lot. If I have my hair down, it'll get in my face. And so yeah. it's annoying. But like, let's say you're, someone's going to take a photo of you. Would you adjust your hair? Uh, I mean, sometimes. I mean, I wish I, I, I wish I did whenever we did that special eat cooking <laughs> here. Holy fuck. <laughs> I wish I had done it then. Dude, I just... Wait, we need to do a special soon where you guys come over. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's do it next week. Guys. Yeah. Hundred percent, do it next week. Uh, sure, as yeah, we haven't done one in a like he was for this episode. Oh, really? Does your dad want to come over? <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's down for that. Like, <laughs> if, if he if he comes over, he's gonna be telling us how to do everything. That's fine. What's wrong with that? You'll see. I think I think me and your dad would be really good buddies. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't. <laughs> oh, okay. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Oh, no okay. Problem. Yeah. He's he, he's pretty easy to get along with, etc. So, like, what would we do if we came over to your house? Like, would you cook food? Yeah. Okay. Why are you saying that? Because you're misogynistic? It's because she's a woman? <laughs> Obviously. Well, you, <laughs> well we, we went to his house. He cooked. We went to, well, you didn't cook for us, but we went to your house. We made stuff. Yeah, so. I made you cook for yourselves. Yeah. That was a real, uh, <laughs> huh. Then I made my roommate eat that whole fucking cake, made him look me in my eye and tell me it's good. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's like the opposite of what you were saying. Like, <laughs> does this cake taste like shit? <laughs> No. No, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good, dude. Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. Don't worry, you're good. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. We had a long talk about that one, man. That shit was so funny. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I feel like we haven't wrapped up the Dr. K thing. I feel like we keep on uh, getting yeah, no, uh, we, yeah, we can distracted. More. Uh, I feel like Dr. K said absolutely nothing wrong. Well, it's as usual. I mean, this is a one hour conversation on a podcast. Yeah, it's well, taken out of context into a 55 second clip that then people just don't even care about. Yeah. Because like, if you explain context to a person, you have to understand, you have to look at it from the perspective of a gorilla. And so like, if you explain the context to a person, what you're telling them is what they thought was wrong. Now, yeah. who wants to be wrong? No one well, wants to be wrong. Nobody there, wants there's to a ton of out of context Dr. K clips, but they're, they're just like they're so funny. funny. Well, they're mean, Yeah, but right? it'll, it'll be Dr. K being like, you should kill yourself, but it'll be like <laughs> yeah. a quote of him saying like what someone's like thinking or something. Yeah. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> so I want to talk about uh, why white people have it hard on the internet. Oh yeah? As How's a that? white man, I've experienced it quite a bit. So there was some chick fucking, oh God, hold on. I hope chick isn't derogatory. There was some female uh, that made a well, comment. That's better. Yeah, of course. Trying to be, uh, you know, a little bit more understanding, guys. Uh, there was some woman at a job and she was black and she said, I don't hire any white people well because you know how they are, always microaggressing and I just can't work properly with any white people in the space. Um, why in the fuck can somebody say that? And she faced zero repercussions. Am I nuts? Well, I'm not sure if, if she did or not. I mean, she's working. So she worked on a game that had an average player base of one person on Steam. Insane. And so, you know, not really a lot of influence here. Then <laughs> she got hired to work on the new Black Panther game. I don't know whether she lost her job over it or not. I have no idea. Like, it's not I like, feel like if she did, we would have heard about it. Maybe, maybe no, not. I don't right? know if you would. Because it's like EA might have wanted to like make sure that they had all their ducks in a row since it's like a minority person that they're getting rid of and a woman. They're probably going to want to make sure that they're like legally sound on doing it without it being a problem. And yeah. then they'd probably Com do it. Companies rarely make announcements when they fire people. No, I'm saying, well, they like, do if they're racist against other people besides white people. Of but course. But not if they're racist against right. white people. Because uh, this, this uh, the reason yeah. why I feel like we would have heard about it is because this chick schizo posts so much on her Twitter. No, it's two, you're thinking of two different people. You're thinking of two different people. It's different? Mm -hmm. Who who do I have confused? Are you thinking about that girl that's... The she, lady she from was Sweet a, Baby? Yeah. It's not her. Oh, never mind. That's not her? I, no. I saw another crazy Sad, like bro. racist post that was like... It was it was this girl. It was a, a black girl. And she was saying like, I would never 
date a, a black man. You know how they are. I'm just going to be I'm, here with my nice Korean boyfriend. And she was like, oh my, I was like, oh yeah. I mean, like, I don't know why everybody is so shocked that people are racist. Like, <laughs> well, it's the problem is when the problem is when people say this bullshit. Okay, they say well, well the, you the can't problem be- is the double standard. Yes, so the problem is the double standard. Whenever you can do it and I can't do it, or you ca- you can't do it but I can do it, and right? It's, That's it's the, the issue. It's the explanation that I get. Yeah, which is you can't be racist towards white people right. because racism is systemic. Uh-huh. Okay, sure, we can argue semantics and say okay, well, it's prejudice. But my problem is, I feel like it's very simple. If you treat someone different based on their race, that is racism. Well, yeah, that's because that, that's what's in a dictionary. Yeah. And so, yeah, you're right. And so, but like if you basically invent new definitions, well, yeah. then it's different, right? Yeah. And so that's what they do. They just invent a new definition. And so they can make it sound like it's not as bad. Because who is it that thinks that you can't be racist to white people? I'll tell you people that want to be racist to white people. That's the reason. And <laughs> so they that. do it. And so they create a new word and they're like, oh, well, I, that's not really what I meant. I'm actually just being prejudiced. And prejudice, it's like, it doesn't really, it's bad, but it doesn't sound as bad as racist, right? Yeah. And so it's soft language. And that's just what happens. Uh, I, I'm not really surprised about this. And I don't think there's any logic in that either, right? It's like, for example, like if you went to Japan and you started being racist in Japan to Japanese people, you would be called a racist by these people. They of wouldn't course. call you prejudice. Of course. But by their own logic, if racism is systemic, then Japan and Japanese people would have the systemic advantage because that's what's the majority over there. But that's not going to be the case because there's actually, again, this is not a logical conclusion to come to. There's no actual thinking here. You can't yeah. reason a person out of a position they didn't reason themselves into. I mean, so that's a, yeah, I heard that quote the other yeah. day. It was good. There it is. Yeah. Uh, so the other thing that we talked about this briefly before, and I'm, yeah. I'm curious y'all's take. Uh, so there's been a lot of issues with characters for people who know my content. There's a character called Sparkle who's in Hawkeye Star Rail, and she's a bad guy, and she is very racist. There's another character in, I believe... Um, it's the show or it's the game about the women that love each other. The women that love each other. Which one? Yeah. Oh, man. Anyways, is, is it a lewd game? It's like a telltale game. Telltale game? I, I totally forget the name. Regardless, uh, inside this video well, how game. How about Frieza? Yeah, Frieza. Yep. Super bad. Super racist. Calling Saiyans monkeys. They have to kill all the fucking Saiyans. Uh, and then, you know, they... Well, Uncle Ruckus, you know, in the boondock. <laughs> I think Uncle Ruckus would be in a, an opposite of my example because I feel like Runk- Ruckus... He's like a satire he is a, yeah, he's, he's a, a satire satirization, character. but usually he's yeah. not in the right. Usually he's of the course. wrong. Usually he's pretty much always wrong. But there's, there's this mass outrage for having bad guys where their only motive isn't just, I want to destroy the world, which I just, it's fucking so, it's so, uh, so generic. But when we give bad guys like characters, like, oh, this bad guy is like really fucking racist or this bad guy is very homophobic. This bad guy hates fucking Saiyans because of just the race. I I don't really see anything wrong with having bad guys have bad guy qualities, but it feels like people don't want those in our video games. And we talked about this before the podcast where you said, well, they. What, what was it again that you said? I said that, yeah. that that the reason why is because they don't want people liking the bad guy. Yes. And then you said, "What's an example of that?" And I said, "World War Two. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because uh, like there is one character. I'm not going to say I like him because he's racist. Yeah. I do like one incredibly racist character uh, who I believe is a fan favorite of the show, uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, you all know Merle from The Walking Dead. I didn't really watch it. I know a lot of the characters just while, from yeah. seeing different like random yeah, pictures. But, so pretty much he starts off as a massive piece of shit and he still is a piece of shit by the time he dies. Uh, but he like works towards getting better and people talk to him about overcoming these issues and all this shit. And uh, at the end of the day, he dies to protect his brother, which is a really good story. But uh, I, I think the other big problem is there's a lot of shows where they only know how to write good bad guys because generally the old uh, blue collar good guy trope is incredibly boring to watch. I don't like that shit. I don't like when a character is just, there's no flaws. They're just a good dude who's trying to do the right thing no matter what. I hate that shit. I disagree because okay. that's a flaw in itself. So here's a really good example. I'll give you two uh, examples that kind of make like probably like more and less sense. Sure. So the first example I'd give you would be Tommen in Game of Thrones. 
Do you, do you, how I familiar are that. you with Game of Thrones? Zero percent. Okay, so so like basically, Tommen's older brother was like a psychotic asshole that everybody hated. He was a kid. His name was Joffrey, and uh, they I know Joffrey. Him. Yeah, right. So yeah, they killed him. And then also, uh, there was like his grandfather, who is also an incredibly competent, but also insanely evil jackass asshole, right? And so there was like this kind of like church that took over in the story. And Tommen, because he was trying to be such a good guy and do the right thing, he didn't aggressively stop them, which allowed them to get out of control and take over control of the, the city. And so the good point where you have a character, and that's like the bad example. Here's the better example, Jonathan Joestar. So Jonathan Joestar. Love Jonathan Joestar. Right. And so, but do you ever get to the point where you're angry at him for being so idealistically naive that he doesn't just immediately call Dio out and beat the shit out of him? Yeah. Because that's, that's where the good guy becomes bad by being too good. And that's the dynamic that they should use. Yeah. But they don't do that because so, they don't know how to write characters. So here's my thing. I think that that trope, what you're saying makes sense. Yeah. When, and Superman should be the same way. When when they get punished for having that flaw. But I think there's exactly. too many shows yes. where they write the super good guy who always does the right thing and also always wins and never gets punished. Case in point, uh, John Cena in WWE uh, in his <laughs> yeah. Nexus era. <laughs> oh my God, he was called Super Cena. Yeah. He literally beat up 13 men at the same fucking time because he's the good guy. Everybody else's motive made sense. They're like, I fucking hate this dude. I want to beat him. I want to become cha big ch become champion because he ruined my fucking life and now I'm going to make everyone feel the same pain that he made me feel for no reason. And then John Cena's motive was, well, I'm the good guy, so this is what I do. And it's so irritating. I agree, Jonathan Joshua is a great character. You, Criminally underrated. Do you, do you, yeah, I agree. Do you do you see the dynamic though, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And so like, and the problem also, so here's the reason why, is that there are a lot of people who are unable to separate fiction from reality. Yeah. And I think that a lot of Western fiction and Western media has a fixation around being a metaphor for reality. And so what happens is that people constantly look for fiction to be congruent with real world ideals and real world events. And so what ends up happening is that whenever something isn't congruent with that, like for example, like racism or like, uh, you know, anything else, yeah. uh, people lose their minds because it's like, they're not able to actually have a willing suspension of disbelief because a lot of the people that are talking about this don't really care about the media itself. They care about the media as a vehicle to, to push a message. Yeah. And so that's why they care about it. And that's why they're talking about it. But most normal people don't care about this one way or another. Here's a fun question. Who's a, you can't say World of Warcraft, any character, you can't say World of Warcraft, any character of World of Warcraft. Who's a bad guy who you think is right? Oh, you had to roll out Garrosh, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to say Arthas or Garrosh. I mean, I think the closest thing would be Thanos. Thanos was that great. That was my answer. Thanos was so good. Fuck. Um, Let me think, besides that, yeah. uh, there's probably a couple of other ones I could think of. Mine was... Uh, Ozymandias and Watchmen. Ozymandias, Watchmen. Yeah. Oh, uh, was he the blue guy? No, that's Dr. Manhattan. Oh, okay. So Oz His Ozymandias- His was insane. That shit, do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see that? No, what the fuck? There's a giant blue jacked guy in the Watchmen. His dicks just flopped out the whole yeah. movie. It's like impossible Wait, not like to like how it. they were like Speedos or? No, his, no, his, no, his actual penis was just flopped out there. I don't think that was, I don't, I don't think that was, uh, they, there's no way. They they edited, no, yeah, go look it up. Let me check. Because I remember, I fucking love Rorschach from that movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, Ozymandias, so like basically what he did is like, um, you know, it was a Cold War era. And so there was like nuclear brinkmanship going on. And so what ended up happening is Ozymandias uh, distracted Dr. Manhattan, who was like this all-powerful god-like being, and uh, basically made it, uh, detonated nuclear bombs in Moscow. Is this it out? I didn't know, I didn't see that. Uh, in like uh -oh. Moscow and in New York, I think, and like one other place. And uh, he did it in a way that made people think that it was Dr. Manhattan that attacked them. And so, like, the idea was to kill a bunch of people in order to make them united against Dr. Manhattan and stop fighting and, like, killing each other. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. And so, like, that's what made the character so good. Do you have one on the top of your head, Emmy? Off the top of my head, no. That's uh, such a hard fucking question. Here, I'll, I'll tell mine real quick. CM Punk, WWE. Okay. 2012. <laughs> the bad guy that changed my life. 
he was the super villain that was essentially what WWE didn't realize. He was saying why WWE sucked, how the product's garbage, how every wrestler is generic. And, uh, you know, how he even said this, this company will be better off once Vincent McMahon uh, is dead. Well... Yeah, he was right, guys. What? And this guy who they really wanted to be the bad guy, everyone just ended up agreeing with. Yeah. And so it completely flipped everything in the WWE universe. That's what they call it. Where now every good guy was being booed and right. every bad guy was being cheered because they were the only ones saying shit that made sense. Yeah. Oh my God, it was so fucking cool, bro. That used to be my every Monday, every Friday. I was locked the fuck in for some wrestling, bro. I love me some CM Punk. It's a shame what happened in UFC. Jesus. Well, well you can see what happened. Another good example of this is like more of a macro example is um, like Starship Troopers. Because like people use Starship Troopers. Like Starship Troopers is obviously a satire on like a American military industrial It's the complex. Helldiver movie, huh? Yes, it yep. is. And so... But like you have other people that are criticizing the movie because it is not overt enough in displaying that it's a satire, right? Mm. And that's what makes the movie good. But that's also what bothers people because they think that, oh, well, then people that are like, you know, fascist military people will see this and like still find it will resonate with them. And so like that's kind of like the point that I'm making is that people are trying to use media to push a, me push a message. That's why they don't want to see like a racist character in the story. Yeah. Well, I have an answer that's kind of like the opposite of what you were saying. Like sure. you're saying a bad guy that's right. I've noticed this interesting trend and like it's not even, it didn't even start recently with bad guys in movies that people think is like a hero or that they idolize, which is like Tyler Durden and Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. All of so these cool. kids are like, oh my God, I want to be just like him. And it's like, bro, they're literally like, yeah, but terrible he's, people. Yeah, but look at how cool he looks. Yeah, but they're so cool. <laughs> he's so handsome. Yeah, they're so bro. cool. They just live for themselves. I bet they wanted to get murdered by him because he's so hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know about Pat. Patrick Bateman is like kind of. Uh, it's hard. To, do people really want to be like Patrick? Oh my! Bateman? Yeah, have you met Sarah? Huh. That's a good point. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I guess fuck. they don't like want to be like him. They yeah. just they look at like certain parts of his lifestyle or yeah. character. Well, yeah, because he's a cool, good looking yeah. dude. He's got a great job. He's got a cool suit. He's got the business cards, you know. He's got like I an mean, 18 shit. skip or 18 step skincare routine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like when uh, when y'all were little kids, you ever meet uh the other people sitting around the lunch table who really thought they were an anime character? Oh my god. Did you ever have one no. of those kids at your what? school that never you're sitting next to one right now. I had like huh. one, like, oh, yeah. I don't know if this was like when I was in high school, like one or two of those guys and they would have like the shirt or post this picture and it was like Tyler Durden, I think the Joker and then the guy from Clockwork Orange, like their faces all together and it's like, the caption was like, they just don't understand me or something like oh that. Oh my God. <laughs> it must be hard being 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually curious. Have you guys ever had, or what is the worst experience you've ever had uh, being hit on by someone? I mean, I I had people grab my dick before. I feel like that's pretty pretty high up there. It wasn't a big deal. Okay, let's let's try. Okay, let's try this one. One where like a, a crime wasn't committed. Oh, a I, crime wasn't I mean, committed. Yeah. That's just not. I mean, I yeah, I don't know. I you mean, ever had any weird ERP experiences on World of Warcraft? Yeah, sure, but I mean, like that's not really that big of a deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> You never had any girl fall in love with you and it was just weird as fuck? No. Okay, that you know of. Maybe you're also aloof. Uh-huh. You ever have any weird uh, being hit on experiences? Oh, I, I mean, I have a lot. But, I mean, I've told like so many stories that probably most of my viewers remember. Did I ever tell you about the hair bag guy? No. What oh the my fuck God. is that? I've told this story on my... Well, it's been a long time. I, I, I've told the story on my stream like three times now because this is one that I just remember really well because it was so fucking... Bizarre. So this is like the, the last real day of senior year of high school. Yeah. Like where we still had classes. And then there was this guy that came up to me and like, I I didn't really like know him, but we had classes and we had like interacted before. I was like a smaller school and he was like, well, I guess this is like it, right? Like we're probably never going to see each other again or like we might not. And I was like, yeah, I might not. It's kind of sad. Like just being nice. And he was like, I, I've always, like actually always liked you. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. And he was like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, Wait, he, he you, starts... told him, you told him thank you? Yeah. It's <laughs> crazy. Well, what, what the fuck response. are you supposed to say? That's, the, that's a good point. Yeah. I would have been like, 
<laughs> oh, I never knew. I wish you told me. Oh, dang. I, I would not say that. I had a I had a boyfriend. Oh. Boyfriend, but uh well, so yeah, after that he was just like saying which was like, oh yeah, like this and this. And he was like, I even had like a bag with your hair in it in my nightstand, mm -hmm. and I was like, What the what? fuck? <laughs> I think he was just like nervous and saying shit he should have been saying. How do you get that? But, well, I think it's because I had super long natural hair. And like, people would always be like, oh, I can tell we're in the same seat in this class because like your hair was like it, like on the chair or whatever. So So he collected that shit? I don't know. I, wonder I don't know. I wonder maybe he could make like a, you know, like how they make a, like voodoo dolls. They can do like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have other stories. That's just probably the weirdest one that, like, That's I can pretty think impressive. of on top of my head. Yeah, I don't that like that, bro. also isn't, like, uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I had this chick in eighth grade when I was also in eighth grade. I want to clarify that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, want to clarify that real quick, guys. <laughs> and her name was Maddie. And I'm not going to lie. I thought this chick was actually, like, pretty hot. Yeah. But she would beat the fuck out of me. Like nonstop, like she would hit me. Nice. It was over probably the... cute aggression. No, this was this hurt. <laughs> I I felt cute aggression before. This would like full on like barrage me. Yeah, like, she was trying to kill you. Yeah, and she had then a crush on you. And then she's like sitting crying in class <laughs> one day because she's been sitting behind me for six months, supposedly trying to get with me, and I couldn't tell. And so I go up to her apologize. Because I mean, obviously, I'm like, okay. Also, she didn't smell fucking terrible. That was that was the only <laughs> downside. She smelled so fucking bad. Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. But when I go to apologize for not noticing her feelings, she throws a fucking shoe at me. That shit sucked, bro. So I just called her shoe lady. I just gave up. I was like, yeah, she's fucking crazy. Yeah, she just sounds And then also everybody annoying. else started calling her shoe lady. I because mean, imagine if you did start dating and that's how yeah, she flirted yeah. with you. She would just yeah. start fucking beating the shit out of you when she Yeah, that's attention. how you end up on Jerry Springer. Yeah. Yeah. That's why that's why all these people who think they want a yandere girlfriend in real life, I'm like, dude, no, you don't. You know what? You know Everybody what? thinks they want a crazy girlfriend until they get one. Yeah. And then you realize they'll ruin your fucking life. Straight up. And oh like, wow, we're having an argument. Why? Because I had a dream about you and you didn't protect me. Oh, so nuts. I'm like, okay. You know what I really like? I like women who are nice to me. That's what I really? like. That's my type. Why? I like women who are nice to me who treat me with respect. That shit's epic. That's my that's my kink and sex too. People who are nice to me. I don't know all these people getting fucking hit. It's that easy? Tied up, bound. Uh, yeah, I don't understand. Like, yeah, nipples. people are, there are some real weirdos Jesus. out there. I'm sorry, bro. But yeah, Jesus. I just, I don't know. I, I think with a lot of those stories and everything, it's just, I try to understand that other people are weird. And every time somebody does something weird to me, I just assume it's like, oh, you don't know how to act. You're just stupid. <laughs> That's really how I feel. Like, ah, you know, of course you're going to do okay, this. Okay, he can't help it. He's stupid. Yeah, he's just a dummy. <laughs> he's just a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even mad. Oh, also, uh, quick shout out. Mad Mushroom Team, they just revealed a new game. Rumble Club. Wait, did we actually do that? Like, yep. Yeah. All oh, right, because this is play in the future. Is this yep. week. I forgot. Yeah, guys, play, play Rumble Club, our first live game now. And now, a word from our sponsors. Kinship, brotherhood. Throughout time and antiquity, the building blocks of society have been based on democracy debate and compromise through peaceful deliberation, but sometimes there is no more powerful way to make a point than a punch to the face! <laughs> You know what we're Let's doing. Do it. Just land on Tectone and get him out. Whatever that was. No! Time no. to die, Amy. No! No! Oh, oh. No. I'm alive! Oh, I'm alive. Yes. Help! Help! I'm getting ping pong. Tectone, please! <laughs> oh my God. Let's go, baby! Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it. Uh, I played the fuck out of that game. 
I Yo, like and it. by the way, if y'all have like feedback for the game, bro, like these guys, like we, uh, whenever we started working with them, we were like, yeah, you should do this. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> and so like they, they're able to like really work fast. So you guys have uh, anything you want to see added into the game before like the main release or anything like that or feedback or anything? Uh, we, we'd love to hear yeah, it. Link's right? in the description. Yeah, that's it. Link in the description. It talks, we, we need constructive criticism. It's a free game, right? Yeah. There I feel is. like the game has uh, a lot of potential. So yeah, that would help a lot. But I yeah. uh, just wanted to shout that out real quick. It's a uh, fun game. Are you guys going on the Mr. Beast game show? What? Yeah, he's putting out uh, applicants on Twitter right now. Oh. Yeah, I responded. 500 likes. So wow. I might get accepted. Uh, he's making the largest game show in history on Prime Video. He did Netflix lost a fucking bag. Because I have no idea why Netflix passed up on Mr. Beast, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the biggest game show ever. Five million dollar prize, a thousand contestants. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a series on Prime Video, which also sucks. Segue. Still want to stay on that. Uh, there's no more watch parties allowed on Twitch, which like, fucking blows. I don't know, like two streamers. I'm sure dozens that. of people are sad about that. Yeah, dozens of people. You know what's crazy? Well, now I feel bad I'm, for Will because Will, Will did watch yeah. parties yeah. the way that they were supposed to be done and, uh, because he did E-Rob. film review and shit. Yeah. And that was really cool, but it's disappointing. But like really, there are just so few people that did it. And I think the reason why they got rid of it was just, I mean, licensing is really complicated. Yeah. It's like what we're talking about with taxes, right? There's a reason lawyers have to exist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I read the comments on the thread about Prime Video getting taken down. People were like, why doesn't Amazon just have select select things on there to watch and just use it as advertising for Prime Videos. Like, if only it were that fucking yeah. simple. Oh, it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. That's, that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah, why don't they do that? Sag. Y'all have never watched Party anything? Mm-hmm. A single time? Nope, never. Yeah, same. But it's I so- watch Party YouTube videos every day. Yeah. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> it's still sad though. I don't know, man. It was a cool feature. I do feel bad for Will. It was nice that him, him, Seer, and Peach, and Rune, they were cuddled up next to a fire, and they had their watch party going along with them in their chat while they're getting warm and toasty. I don't know, man. That's chill. It's the end of an era for one man. That's yeah. sad. I mean, like, it is. It sucks, but that's the way it is. Yeah. Oh, by the way, do you have any, uh, do you have any uh, shit you're going to say today that people are going to get angry at you I for? Mean, I think I've week? already did that. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure people, I mean, people are going to get me pissed off. They already got an hour of content. I really want to find a way to get Emmy a hate thread. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you try I've and park a, again? I've had a few. I bet they were light. They were, yeah, they really weren't that bad. Yeah. What well, were they like? I don't like this thing that Emmy did because she's a woman. Did you get any of those yet? I don't know if I've ever had one like that, but I think that also maybe my, yeah, you did. my, per- <laughs> have I? Parking. Oh yeah, the, the parking one, but he's saying besides that, but I think that my, my perspective on internet hate might also be a, a little bit skewed because I mean, I, I've told you guys before that like when my chat's like, shitting on me for things like I just think it's funny I never really get like personally offended like I've seen LSF comments from from people that like don't like me or something but like I don't I'm not like oh this is a hate thread but like I've said before like before the parking thing I don't think I ever got like a hate thread and my chat was like clueless and I was like <laughs> well now I'm like well have I and I just didn't realize it yeah. I don't know I feel like people don't understand anger and the reason why that is, I know a lot of people think that the first person to get angry loses, but uh, I'm a guy where I really just enjoy being angry. Like, I love it. Once I get a good rant out because I'm furious, it's like a, it's like a sexual feeling. It feels erotic to me. Like, I don't, I don't feel the need to not get angry when I dictate my words. I love screaming into the microphone about some dumb shit. Personally. I think that, like, I mean... If I get people that are making hate threads about me, they're thinking about me. And if they're thinking about me, there's only a matter of time until they actually start watching. Yep. That's what I think. (laughs) It's only a matter of time. Is there anybody who you started off fucking hating and then started watching? No, I don't do that. Really? You've never had that? Absolutely not. Trying to think. I think that only happens because I feel like to hate someone, you have to like really give a fuck about them. Uh, yeah, so there, I feel like there is at least one person who I've watched because I hate it. I just can't remember who they are. I don't do that. Like, I think that's like, if you're doing that... It feels like such a waste of time. This is a mental disorder. No, like, but like you, like you misunderstand them. And so you're like, why is this guy like this? And then you're like, oh, that's why. Oh, he's actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, like Dr. Disrespect. I did not like Dr. Disrespect really? when I first I watched him. I thought he was funny. Yeah, I thought, he, I thought he was annoying as fuck. And then I realized, oh, he's trying to be like this. Oh, I fucking <laughs> love this. And he became one of my favorite streamers very quickly. 
Because I feel like if you if you can get someone to start off hating you and then convert them to liking you, they're going to the watch you forever. The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. The, I feel like those kinds of viewers are usually kind of crazy. <laughs> like, do you want those kinds of viewers? Honestly, yeah. Because you want to know what's crazy? I now realize my chat is fucking nuts. Yeah. And I did not realize they were nuts because they're so nice to me. But they've been doing a lot of shit to other people lately. Oh, no. <laughs> I love it so much, dude. It's so funny. I'll just see them in another streamer's chat just going off on them. I, I love it, dude, personally. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, you know how my viewers are. Yep. My, mine, are, mine are bad. Yep, that's why like, I'm, I'm not... I said, I have no Lich King. Dude, I'm not playing Sekiro again until I know you're live. Yeah? Because I don't want them in my chat. Really? They're so They'll mean. Be there. They're very <laughs> They're very nice to me when I'm reacting. Yeah. But when I play Dark Souls, I can't handle it. I think, yeah, it's, I, I think it's funny. I think it's funny when someone that's like obviously from Rasmus chat comes in and they're like, God, women are so fucking bad at games. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I just see them get timed out and I'm just like. <laughs> and you know, they're going to sit there and wait the time out. They're going to wait it out so they can type it again. <laughs> Stop timing me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't, like, for me, it depends on, like, the reason why people are doing it. Like, I'm okay with people that are doing it for fun, but then there's a lot of people that get really serious about it. Like, I'm okay whenever it's just goofing around, but there's a lot of people that aren't goofing, you know? Yeah. That's the only issue that I have. Andrew Tate. Who, who about, what about That's him? the other guy. At first, I hated his ass. And then yeah. I was like, you know what? He's pretty funny. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah. He's but a good not, character. He's not trying to be funny, though, is he? Is he not? I mean, whenever he's posting Actually, pictures of himself in front, yeah, of a, I don't know. A, in front of a Bugatti with his arm around an anime girl that's photoshopped in, there's no way this dude doesn't realize this is kind of stupid. I feel, like, I feel like it's a gimmick 100%. I feel like it's not, but he played into it even more. Does, does that make that's sense? That's fair. Yeah, I think that's yeah. probably true. It's like Donald Trump does that. So yeah, yeah, like he, he posted a picture of himself as a frog. Perso his <laughs> personality <laughs> persona is real, but he'll see memes or like, you know, people that hate him and he'll just play it up or play into it even more. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're all tracking here that I don't say that's badass anymore. I want to make sure we're all. I mean, I, haven't, I don't really pay attention. I say it unironically. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, you know, that was one thing that I realized that a lot of people who do the impersonation, they always say that's badass. Dude, I have not said that's badass in over a it year, It doesn't guys. matter. It'll follow you forever. No. Just like Genshin. Yep, no. that's right. Ah. You build a hundred bridges and you suck one dick, you're not a bridge builder, you're a dick sucker. Yep. That's badass. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, uh, do you guys want to go with me to go see the Mike Tyson fight? Oh, God. You're going to watch You're gonna that You're going to go shit? in person? I'm taking my dad. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Where is it? Uh, it's three hours north. Oh, really? Okay, that's actually pretty not that bad. Yeah, he's really Who do you excited. think's going to win? Mike Tyson or Jake is, Paul? Isn't Logan Paul the one that's really good at fighting? No, no Paul's Logan Paul's the, the WWE wrestler. Jake Paul's actually, uh, he has a good record in boxing. Oh, they do two different things. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so my problem is, this is just what I've heard from my dad. I have not been following the fight at all, besides what my dad has been telling me. So Mike Tyson is around 220 pounds. He needs to drop to 160 to do the fight. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's insane. He will. He'll find a way to make it happen. Uh, and then also, apparently there's a rule where at any time, if Logan wants to get in the ring as well with Jake and help him fight, he's allowed. Good. So this just sounds like a Mickey Mouse clown fiesta to me. Well, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's literally a Jake Paul boxing match. Right, right. It's a sure. Mickey Mouse clown fiesta. Like, what's he going to do? He's going to fight a, a, another basketball player? The problem is, is that I don't think Jake Paul realizes that he's a Mickey Mouse clown fiesta fighter. Do you really think he doesn't know that? I really don't think he knows that. I think he fucking knows the it. way he cares. I think Logan Paul gets that he himself is a Mickey Mouse guy. I don't think Jake Paul gets that. I, the way I mean, he, he carries himself. He might himself. get it, just not. He probably wants to be taken more seriously. If yeah. Anything. Uh, I've never wanted to see someone get their ribs broken more in my entire life. <laughs> you think? You think Mike Tyson's going to beat him? If he doesn't, I would actually be upset. I think that it's an exhibition match. 
And so if it was a match to knockout, I think Mike Tyson would win for sure because he's just so aggressive and so explosive. Well, he and, was. Well, I mean, he still is, but like, that's the thing, right? Is like, I think if it goes more than five or eight rounds, Jake Paul has a legit chance of winning because Mike Tyson's almost 60 years old. Yeah, that's, he's 57. That's, that's really, really old. And he's also required to use more padded gloves. Exactly. So and he I, can't knock Jake Paul out. The, the problem is I love Mike Tyson. Like what he's done he for the sport. He is the greatest boxer of all time. And of I course. don't even think it's close. Yeah, I, I don't want anything besmirching that legacy. Yeah. It really breaks my heart. This happens a lot in wrestling where they bring back these legends from the past that completely carry the business and then they just fucking job them out, make them look like jokes. And it's like spitting on their fucking grave. Like when Shawn Michaels retired uh, at WrestleMania when he, uh, uh, when he lost to The Undertaker, but then that was his final match. But then 15 years later, he comes back and gets his ass beaten in Saudi Arabia because he needs a fucking blood money check. Like, I don't know. I don't like that shit at all. Really, really upsets me. Like Mike Tyson's last fight where he says, my heart's just not in it. I took this fight because I needed the fucking money. And I'm just very worried that Mike Tyson is going to besmirch his legacy by getting beat up by some fucking stuck up, spoiled social media influencer and ruin the legacy that has changed the lives of people for generations. Nobody's going to think anything less of Mike Tyson if he's almost 60 and he loses an exhibition fight. Oh God. Like that's just the truth. Nobody's going to give a fuck about this like you go back and you watch fucking iron mike tyson yep. at 20 years old yep. beating the fuck out of people that are twice his size there's not nobody like you can't get rid of that okay, i wouldn't say nobody yeah it's I not even gonna some matter people will though i don't know and to those people yeah, they're gonna be like immediately called out like you fucking idiot what are you what are you thinking <laughs> i hope i just feel like i just I just don't want to hear Jake talk about it, bro. That should be so fucking annoying. Holy fuck. I, I, I honestly, I think that they are two of the best characters on the internet. They really are. They're great. I like Logan. I think Logan's a great, a great uh, wrestler. I hear he's a great entertainer. I've seen some of the clips. Great businessman. Yeah, he is. I mean, Prime <laughs> is huge. Yeah, so is, uh, what's it called? The uh, NFT game you made? Oh, CryptoZoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. CryptoZoo. I got to get on on that. Have you guys done NFTs yet? No. Fuck no. I'll Same. probably start next Never. year. Doing stocks though. Yeah. Stocks are actually fun as fuck. Really? Yes. That's a side, little side note. I want to get more into that. That is the most fucking addicting shit I've ever seen. It gives me something to do every day. It's fun. Uh, yeah. What else? Y'all got any plans this weekend? Uh, what my plans are, um, what, uh, what, what was it? Like I, oh, Dragon's Dogma comes out this week. Ooh. Dragon's Dogma 2? Yeah. Yeah. I get to play that game. I might you play get it early off stream release? too. It comes out on a 20 second to it. I might play it off stream too. There you go. Wait, do you get early access? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so- what, Well, what? I do actually as like press version, but I'm not going to play it. Oh, thank God. That's what pussies do. Okay, so I need to beat Sekiro so I can play. You're not going to beat. It's not going to happen. Like, where are you in the game? I'm at the end. Oh. Just, just, I'll be real. I'm just going to keep it 100%. Gonna sound great. I'm just bored. Yeah? Because I'm doing the, the demon fight at the end. He's a real cocksucker, isn't he? Uh, no, I fought him like three times, but I'm just like... Oh, I just, You're bored? I, Why? Because I just want to play Cookie Run. Oh, that's so that's fucking bad, sad, man. dude. That's fucking that's sad. That's so sad. Yeah, I was like, is the end of Sekiro boring? I feel like there, it was pretty quick the end, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've, I've been told I have two fights left. The demon guy in the final fight. Did you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. It, it, was, it was really fun. It has fallen off for me dramatically since Owl won. I have not enjoyed the fights as much. Okay. Yeah, like the fights just got way easier and some are just like, uh, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed Al, but I, I haven't been enjoying the game as much and I'm just fucking, I'm horribly addicted to Cookie Run, bro. I, I'm going to beat it, get it done with. It's, I mean, you know, it, and I'm once again, I didn't rage quit or anything. It was just three attempts and I'm just like, okay, I'm good. Uh, I just have a problem. I just like, I like easy games. Yeah. Which is weird because Elden Ring I fucking love. Dark Souls 1 I fucking love. But, uh, okay, so I mean, then you the, like easy games. games. Yeah, those games can be easy. <laughs> yeah. They can be easy depending on how you decide to play. Yeah, yeah, they have a difficulty slider. It just doesn't have to, it doesn't happen in the menu. It happens with weapon selection. Yeah, true. But uh, yeah, Owl was really fun. Because it's like I enjoy the difficulty if it's there for a reason. But then just some fights, the, the difficulty is just fucking annoying. And I'm like, you know, when you go up to a boss fight and I'm like, all right. I'm going to die to this fucker five times yeah. to learn a move. And then I'll get a little bit further. You'll learn another move. Learn another move, die five, five more times. All right, got it. <laughs> okay, die five more times. Okay, there it is. Beat him. 
Did you beat Liza P? That shit sucked. Bro, like... Just, just beat the game. Nah, that shit, that shit was straight up. like it? I was thinking was about playing that one next if I play another nah, season. Nah, she was just straight boring for me, bro. Fuck the parry. It just felt so bad. And the environment, I just, oh my God, it was so fucking boring. It just felt like a shitty Souls mm -hmm. game. I loved Armored Core. Yeah? That was actually fun Oh, you fun. loved it so much you didn't finish it. Well, because that's the thing. You know what I mean? I think I just, I'm just not a game completer. Yeah, I know what you mean. A lot of people complain about that with me. Yeah, I just like, I just, I don't, I don't know if I have that in me. To complete a game, that's just a, that's a lot. Whenever of work. I play a game, I play a game like a hundred percent all the way through. Like with Grand Blue Fantasy, I farmed the fuck out of that game. Yeah, and like with Dragon's Dogma, I am playing that every fucking day. With Honkai Star Rail, whenever I was playing that, I got everything. I did everything, and like any time that I play a game, I go all the way in it. But I don't like playing a lot of games. I just I get way too distracted. Because, like, for me, it's, like, the games are, like, distracting. I just like talking to my chat. That's pretty much it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, no, it's different for certain games. Like, for example, if the whole point of the game is to beat the game, then I will beat that game. For example, getting over it. I can't just you get over it? play getting over you. I have to beat it. Yeah. Going, what's up? Only up. Only yeah, up. Yeah. I, well, if I didn't get up, then I didn't win. But, like, Sekiro, I feel like I've already experienced it. Like... So, like, I'm the opposite. Like, I already, like, once I got up to that rainbow shit and I fell down on only up, and I said, all right. I'm good. <laughs> all right, that's so enough. close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. <sighs> yeah, but, like, I mean, I, I don't think any fights, because I'm the one where, like, I don't think I'm going to enjoy any fight as much as Al. That, right. is, that, is, that is now my definitive favorite fight in all So, films. I did that with Jedi Survivor, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, yeah. is there was a fight. So, like, there was this frog. His name was Ogdo Bogdo. And I love that. He was a real dick sucker. Yep. And so after you kill him, you get a separate fight. And guess what it is? It's Ogdo Bogdo with Bogdo Ogdo. And it's two of them. Yeah. Two fucking frogs at the same time. And so I spent probably like five hours doing this fight. I beat the fight. I quit the game because that was it. I, I'm. There's never going to be a fight that's harder than that in the game. 100%. Yeah. Like I won. I won. I beat the game. Yeah. That's it. I don't need to be, I don't need to see the ending cinematic. I don't care about the story. Like, oh, wow. Like something happens. Who cares? It's not canon anyway. Yeah. Like I, I did Fear and Hunger recently where I literally got an ending, but apparently that's not good enough because I didn't get the true ending. I don't fucking mm -hmm. like care. Bloodborne. Yeah. I, I don't give a fuck about the true ending at all. If it said you have beat the game, if the credits roll, I've beaten the game. It is over. That's it. Apparently uh, you can end the game at Owl now. Uh, Where you know who? Apparently, if you choose a dialogue option, you can just get credits to roll. Oh, I think um, so. Y if, yeah. you, if you choose to abide by the Shinobi code. I believe you're right, but yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, a lot of people, I feel like I'm not alone on that. I feel like the majority of people don't buy a game and then beat it 100% in all aspects. Most people don't do that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I play Undertale and Doki Doki. Okay. Just want to make sure you don't forget. Uh-huh. Doki Doki first, probably. You think so? Yes. I think Doki Doki is better for stream, but Undertale is also good. I was watching Simply play that. He played on stream for the first time. Doki Doki? Or Undertale. Do you like it? Yeah. It's a good I fucking so. game. All right. And you got time, too. No, I you, don't, actually. You go home right now and play it. Uh-huh. And you'd love it. Well, I've got to, I've got to go home and farm uh, another canceled video for myself. I've got to record another video about how Very I got canceled. Very busy. Again. Wait, what? Wait, why? I don't know. I'll figure out whenever I open my phone up again. I'll check for you. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Are you safe? Asmon Gold. Just read the top result. Okay. Uh, here we go. You know what? I'm actually seeing a lot of positive comments. I'm not even kidding you. I'm actually having to scroll. I am trying to, I'm trying to scroll to find a hate comment. I think you're in the clear, man. I yeah, think you're good. Yeah, but that's no fun. Yeah, I think you're good. He'll find a hate comment. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, then I'll, now I'll make a video about how everybody knew that I was right all along and, you know, yeah. Oh, what's with all these uh these uh really fucking hot e-girls 
posting videos of their disgusting ass houses and people just uh, tagging you in them. I think it's great. <laughs> Have you seen this? Yeah. I saw one. Rot maxing? I was actually going to I was going to comment on her thing. I said keep it up, sweetie, you're doing great, but I decided not to. <laughs> 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 just enabling bad behavior, just like fucking mental illness. Yeah. Keep it up. Yeah, keep keep putting garbage in your room. <sighs> Yeah, I don't want to get into another lecture why I think you should clean your house. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. And you're healthy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've thought about throwing things away. It would be easier for me to just move somewhere else. It's so bad. Okay, let's do that. Well, I don't know about that. Let's get you a house. I don't know if I want to do that. It's why? a lot of work. No, it's not. I mean, then I got to move all my... I got to have my... like Because if I... Like, then I got to get a new desk, bro. No, you don't. Like, I got to put... I got to... You, next, if I ever get a new house, I'm just going to put a piece of wood over the windows, man. Okay, so yeah. I... I I'll board up the windows. I'm most likely... I, I have a house. I want to buy a house. I have the house I want to buy. So you're buying a new house? Yes. Why are you doing that? I'm crazy. Just want to get away from my current location because too many people know where that's at. Okay. So moving. Well, good thing they'll never figure out the new one. Yep. They won't. And if they do, I got uh -huh. a sniper tower on the new one. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. Stand your ground, brother. Uh, no, I really think you should get a new house. Yeah? Yes. Uh, and I would like to help you with that. The only criteria that I have for my house is that I want to be within walking distance of a gas station. And I want to be within a 10-minute radius of like a McDonald's and or a Wendy's. Okay. And what square footage of a house do you want? Oh, I don't care about that. Okay. Yeah. I think... 2,000. I don't foot. know how big that is. Probably the size of your house. Okay. Yeah. I think that is what we should do. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, and then we'll get you a realtor. We'll get you movers. Okay, we got... All right, guys, I, I think that we've had a lot to talk about today. <laughs> it's been <laughs> a great really? episode. Yeah. Oh, we've had a great no. time. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, everything went really well. Before we go, we'll read a couple of comments for you guys. Um Asmon and Emeru switching seats hurts my brain. Uh, we, we've been in the same seats, am I not? I think it's been about? about the same, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a schizo in the comments. Second one here. Uh, some Steven Spencer 306. <laughs> Tectone, we shouldn't teach chemistry. Also, Tectone, Cobalt's real. Damn, I didn't know that. Checks out. <laughs> okay, well, but like... Why do you gotta like, know if it's real? But like, exactly. Why the fuck do I need to know that? Why would I need to know that cobalt's real? Well, if you're mining and Wrath of the Lich King. Oh, yeah. But other than that, you don't. Yeah. And then bottom one, uh, Askio TFC, 30-year-old bald white man having a 90s hip-hop phase is a canon event. You can just start wearing a beanie too, you know? I can't, bro. I already got rid of that fucking thing, bro. I can't go back. Oh, I forgot he used to wear the beanie all the time. Yeah. yeah. Fucking nasty ass, fucking shit-smelling beanie. That shit was gross. Well, you can't smell it through the computer. With so like a fine. pound of dead flesh. Just gross. never washed it. Oh, I got to pee so bad. This has been a long fucking There's episode. No I've also had to piss the whole time. <laughs> then why why did we talk for so long? It was so fun, I guess. I don't know. Well, you guys fun. let me talk too much. Yeah. That's, it, just, it just happens. Yeah. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for your comments. Check out the Patreon and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Peace. Bye. Uh, today, we're doing something really fun. We're doing an anime tier list because Asmund's been getting into Death Note lately Finally. and he's been loving it, which gets me excited. So now we have a tier list of uh, some of the best anime ever created, the top 300. We probably won't get them all. I don't care, what are, are y'all's top three anime? Top three? Yeah, it's off the rip. It's tough because I've like I've been watching anime over a period of like... I want to say like 15 years. Yeah. So it's hard to compare something I watched a year ago to something I've I watched like recently. Cause like, you know, like when you're younger, it's different. But I'd yeah. probably say for me, 
like Mob Psycho, Code Geass, FMA Brotherhood. I know you have feelings about people, but I love that one oh, when I when I watched good. it. Yeah. So it's kind of based off like the feeling. Oh, maybe Death Note would be up there too. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of like Mob. I love Mob. Yeah. What about you, Asmund? Berserk. Good one. Ghosts in the Shell. Good one. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Which season? One and two. Dude, actually saying that you like one is a very bold take. Not only is it a bold take, but it's actually the only correct take. I think it's also very good. <laughs> I yes. feel like people who don't like it just don't get it. And it's also, yes. it is the most important season for the actions that come after that. I think it's my favorite. Yeah, I'm part it's five. It's my favorite by far. I love part five. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Um, Giorno Giovanna. Not yet. Holy fuck. Can I tell you what it's about? I, I'm, I will get there. Okay. I will get there. <laughs> mm -hmm.